the VFX industry is about to explode. What once cost millions now can be done on your laptop almost for free. What if I told you this iconic Hollywood shot that cost millions? I recreated it with the help of AI just under a dollar. This is not perfect but this tool came out just 6 months ago and it looks pretty damn good. This is the Matrix, one of the most legendary VFX shot ever made. Bullet time, frozen motion, cameras around 360 degree. Literally hundreds of them covers around Keanu Reeves to create this epic moment. Now obviously I don't have Warner Bros behind my back. But I do have a camera, some creativity and few AI tools. So now let's see how we can make this effect. As you can see, I shot this clip, me jumping with a gun. It looks silly though. I recorded this shot in 100 fps and I kept the shutter speed intentionally very high. It's 1 by 700 or 800. So that's how you can see there are no motion blur on our subject. So this will help us to make the effect better. So this is our clip. Now let's color correct it. I will add my default power grade to it. It's not perfect just for the demo. Now let's add some speed ramping to our clip. So let's say I want to add some speed ramping from here. Hit Ctrl R on your keyboard and add a speed point and trim this part. Let's say I want to make it 10% slow. Yeah, it's good, but I want to make it even slower. So let's click here and drag it to 3%. So let's play it. You can see the motion is choppy. To rectify this problem, you can go to Retime and Scaling and change the Retime process to Optical Flow and Motion Estimation to Enhance Better. If you are using the Vinci Resolve Studio, you can use the AI Speed Wrap better. It's the best quality. Okay, for now, we'll keep the Enhance Better. Now let's play. You can see the smooth motion. Now let's say I want to add the bullet time effect from here. So I will add a marker, command M to make a marker, hit OK. Or you can click here to add a marker. And I will go to file, export and current frame as still. I will name this bullet time. Now go to your browser and search for hicksfield.ai. You can see there are lots of effects here, but we need to use the bullet time, this one. Click on it. When you sign up for this website, it will let you generate three effects for free. After that, you need to pay. Under the bullet time effect, you can see different variations. We will use this one. Okay. This is the prompt. Let's hit recreate and just delete this photo. This was the previous one that I created and drag your photo and drop it here. You can change the model from here. In the free version, you will get only light. And if you pay for this Higgs field, you will get standard and turbo. And you can also change the duration of your shot from 3 seconds to 5 seconds. Okay. One more tip I want to give you here. If you just hit generate from here, sometimes it will mess up your generation and burn your credits. To avoid that, either you can write the whole prompt by yourself or you can go to the chat GPT. Just select all of this prompt and copy it and go to chat GPT and paste it and just upload the photo that you just uploaded on the Higgsfield website. After uploading the same photo, just type this word, modify this prompt according to the photo I uploaded. And it will modify the prompt according to your exact scenario. So now let's copy this and paste here and hit generate. For the free version, it will take four to five minutes to create this effect. And if you pay for this and change the model from light to standard, it will make it under one minute. So this is our shot. Let's preview it. It's pretty damn good. Now let's download it. And go to the Vinci Resolve and import the clip. And if I drag and drop here, you can see the effect. How crazy was that? And this is another version that I created. Absolutely mind blowing. But this clip has some issues. Let me show you. 
you can see the shot I am wearing is kind of a cyan, but I gave the input of this AI this photo. In this photo, you can't see my shot and its color. And in the prompt, I didn't mention the shot color. So that's why it made the shot white and with a tie as well. In the previous shot also, you can see the shot color changed to white. So this minute details you need to keep in mind if you are going to use this tool on your commercial projects. So what's my final verdict on this? AI is not here to replace filmmakers. It's definitely here to empower them. Previously, I couldn't be able to even dream to make some effects on my projects. But with the help of AI, I can create beyond my imagination. It's making high level VFX and cinematic storytelling accessible more than ever and opening the doors for the indie creators to compete, innovate and push the craft forward. The future of filmmaking is faster, smarter and creative with the AI as a powerful tool in the process. But one thing is certain, you have to be creative. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope this video was helpful. So if you like the video, please drop a like. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, subscribe and hit the bell icon. I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, stay safe, stay happy. Peace.